Sneemaster! Hi everyone, Sneemaster here with a brief preview of the Drake Kraken. The Kraken is a carrier that has a merchant variant. It is still in concept stage, but many Star Citizen backers are extremely eager to see the ship release. The Kraken is listed at 270 meters long with a crew of 10. It has two capital-sized shields, two capital-sized hydrogen fuel tanks, and one capital-sized quantum fuel tank and drive. Cargo capacity is an impressive 3,790 SCU in various storage rooms internally. It has six medium-sized computers that you could apply many AI blades to. There are six landing pads on top of the Kraken, four smaller pads, and two medium ones. The smaller pads are on the starboard side, slightly below, and the larger pads are on top, port side. The pads seem to have individual elevators to access the interior of the ship. There are two internal hangars that you can store extra ships or cargo, and there are probably connected to the two larger pads up top. The landing gear is made up of many legs, similar to the Caterpillar, but beefier. There is a small vehicle bay in the rear of the ship that stores and launches Dragonfly hover bikes, or other equally small flying or hover vehicles. The bridge to control the ship and air traffic control is on top of the ship, between the landing pads to the rear. It can oversee the landing pads from above, the Kraken has tons of quarters for crew and pilots in the ship, as well as bathrooms and mess hall. There is supposed to be a separate captain's quarters, as well as med bay, engineering, fuel storage, and armory. The cargo bays are on the bottom of the ship with a large cargo elevator that reaches to the floor. For defense, the Kraken has one size 8 dual gunned manned turret and four size 6 dual gunned manned turrets. There are also four remote size 5 turrets with double mounts around the ship as well. I am assuming with all the double mounts that the actual guns on them are probably a size or two smaller. For example, the size 5 turrets might have dual size 3 guns on them. The Kraken has no missiles listed, but all the turrets should help cover it pretty well. The Kraken doesn't have as much armor as some other carriers, but makes up for it with tons of guns and the ability to launch more ships at once. Also, keep in mind, the shields only protect the ship itself, not the ships that are sitting on top of the launch pads. That is the drawback of having a quicker launch system and being able to hold so many ships compared to a carrier like the Idris, with everything internal. There are conflicting statements on whether it has escape pods or not, but the Q&A said there aren't any, so I'll go with that. That's a very Drake idea. The price of the Kraken is currently $1,650 in both time and quantity limited sales. You really have to be quick during sales to catch a Kraken. I've seen them sold out in 60 seconds. Look for them during IAE and anniversary sales. The privateer variant replaces the cargo bay with lots of shops and markets. People can sell their goods from the shops and each has its own storage space. This variant only has a ship cargo capacity of 768 SCU, as the rest is used by the shops. The privateer goes for $2,000 and is also on time and quantity limited sales. It's a competitor for the Banu Merchantman, with the benefit of having landing pads for merchants and customers to use for buying or selling while the ship is on the move. Both of the variants would be very useful for orgs. They would be great for exploration, mining, salvage, combat and piracy. The Kraken can hold a lot of cargo and fuel, so it's great as a mobile base. The privateer version is perfect for selling product that you find on your travels, whether obtained legally or illegally. I can imagine Kraken merchant fleets roaming the galaxy, buying and selling rare items that others have found. Only friendly groups would have the knowledge or access to these roaming shops. Obviously, neither version is good for solo players, assuming you can even afford the price. So get some friends to join you. Maybe they can help you afford it too. The guns should keep most pesky baddies away, but try not to get into heavy combat. The armor will only protect so much, and the ships on the pads are very exposed to weapon fire. The Kraken will need escort ships to handle enemies that the small fighters can't keep away, so you may want to have hammerheads or polarises or something else with you. Also, don't expect the Kraken to land well on moons or planets. The VTOL engines are somewhat weak compared to its size, so taking off or landing could be difficult. I'm eager to see this ship flying around for civilian and pirate use in the future. It has just the right aircraft carrier look to it. As Drake ships, they are not pretty but very functional, and I like that sort of look. Alright, so that's it for the Drake Kraken. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons to get more videos. If you're new to Star Citizen, you may use my referral code to get an extra 5,000 credits in-game. Let me know if you want me to review a particular ship or item. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to help me out. Okay, catch you all next time.